Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for that blood. Thank you for the precious blood, O Lord. Glory be to your name, O Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning. God bless you. Happy to have you on again. <clears throat> this is the Believers Evangelical Fellowship International. For those of us coming for the first time, I want to thank God for yesterday's meeting. Thank God for the great woman of God who just led us just now. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Um, uh, those who are on video, the video came on a bit late. Apologize for that. We just want to thank God because God is the one who has been holding us as a group together. I, I, I saw an email like <clears throat> a couple of minutes ago from the coordinating uh, uh, brethren for the uh, this Canada revival, which is incredible. The speed, you know, which uh, <laughs> it's being planned is incredible, you know. And um, it just shows that the hand of God is on it. And I'm hoping that those of our brethren who are in Canada or who have family members in Canada can seize the opportunity. So if you if you do have, uh, I mean, if, if you are interested in being part of it, I would like you to definitely uh, get in touch with our sister, uh, Sister Cheryl Bango. Her phone number is um, 215-941-2619. 215-941-2619. Uh, we'll leave some information on the website for this particular uh, deliverance program, which is www.deliveranceseries.com. We'll leave information there. We'll leave information on the church website, the Believers Fellows fellowship.com praise the lord and our uh, sister bango's uh email is bless bango b l e s s b a n g o at yahoo.com she's gotten in touch with a few of you but <clears throat> what we want us to do is as many as possible who want to be part of it you know who want to be part of what we're doing let us know so that we know how to plan it and make it very effective that people can benefit, your family members can benefit. It's going to be a great time, there's no doubt about it. We've already chosen May 18th, 19th, and 20th. There's a little mistake for those who emails were sent to. It should be May 18th, May 19th, and May 20th. So it's three days, three nights. And if the Holy Spirit comes like the Azusa revival, maybe we'll do it for the next one year. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Somebody says, when you look at my face, they're always laughing and smiling. That is what God raised me for. I know my face and that bald head. You know, prophets usually have bald heads. And they have funny eyes that look in different directions. That's what the way God raised us. <clears throat> but it's for your benefit to edify the body. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This morning, we're going to be talking about revealing secrets for us to move to the next level. Revealing secrets that for us to move to the next level. Praise the Lord. This morning, this is uh, this uh, particular sermon is a sermon that one of my mentors preached a while back, and um, it's a sermon that has been very useful for me. The young man is a pastor, a very big ministry in my country, Nigeria. He is the one that preached this this sermon, and um, but I've I've, I, I've preached sermons like this before, but Sometimes you see a sermon that is so effective that you want others to know about it, you know. And um, I've always, I've always taught from this kind of sermon when I ask people to go and ask God the things they need to know about themselves. So, to the glory of God, we're going to be talking about Lord, reveal the secrets for me to move to the next level. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for you, and I want to thank God for that man of God, the glorious ministry. I God used me to impart in that ministry a lot at the formative stages, and the ministry is one of the biggest ministries in the in our financial capital in Nigeria and in Lagos. It's very very ministry must have close to twenty five thousand Sunday members, which is a lot now. Praise
praise the Lord. We are going to confess before we start. Ephesians 1, 17, 18. We are going to confess that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to repeat after me. Say, it's, uh, we're, reading, if, we're if, uh, reading Ephesians 1, 17 and 18. I'm going to say that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you and I, say that, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you and I the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of revelation and the knowledge of him, the eyes of my understanding being enlightened. And I'll say that again, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you and I the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of my and your understanding being enlightened, that you and I may know, say that you and I may know, what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inherent inheritance in the saints is praise the lord that's ephesians 1 17 18 you can confess that to yourself later the other one you can confess is deuteronomy 29 29 which says the secret things belong unto the lord our god but those things that are revealed belong unto me and to my children forever that I may do all the words of his law. Like I said, the basis for the sermon is for one of the sermons of one of my mentors. But you can be sure that the impartation of the Holy Spirit through me will also be in it. <clears throat> the prophetic impartation. So I want you to hold on to it like that. These are two very important confessions. If you want God to reveal the secrets, if you want him to reveal the things that are, that, are, that, that are secret to you and I. Look at that second verse we just read, Deuteronomy 29, 29. It says, the secret things belong unto the Lord. That is, God knows everything. That is our God. They say, but those things that are revealed, the things that are revealed, belong unto you and I and our children forever, that we may do all the words of his law. So when God reveals things, it is for you and our it is for me and you and our children those that are close to us that we may do what that we might be able to carry out the will of god the words of his law hallelujah bible says the bible says it says for god speaketh once job 33 14 to 16 those who know me and since the days i've been preaching they know this is one of my favorite um one of my favorite uh, verses in the bible favorite set of verses because anything that is revealed to you is for is for you to move forward for god speak it once even twice yet man did not perceive it yet man perceived it not in a dream in a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon man in slumberings upon the bed then he openeth the ears and sealeth their instruction he openeth the ears and sealeth their instruction when deep sleep falleth upon men while they are slumbering upon the bed. Of course, when they say men, they're talking of, of, of human beings, like men and women. Then he opened the ears and sealed their instruction. Isaiah 48, 17. He says, Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord thy God, who teacheth thee to profit, which leadeth thee by the way that thou should go. Hallelujah. Every great accomplishment that you can have is a revelation from heaven, brethren. Every earthly achievement thrives on divine guidance. If you want to excel and you want things to, to, to go forward, we still said this yesterday, you need to thrive on the divine guidance of God. Without you being in the will of God, you cannot succeed. I want to say it again, that it's impossible for anyone to succeed. No one can truly succeed, brethren. It's not possible for you to succeed without a revelation from God. Remember, Proverbs 29, 14 says, Where there is no vision, where there is no revelation, the people perish. Tonight, certain things are going to happen. 
God is going to reveal certain secrets to you that's going to move you forward. Now, divine revelation is the key to any worthwhile uh, accomplishment or achievement on earth. I want you to know that. So through divine revelation, the secrets to Joseph's future was unfolded. If you remember right, those of you who have studied the word of God in the place of Genesis uh I think like 40 to 50. Through divine revelation, the secrets to Joseph's future was unfolded. Through divine revelation, the birth of the Messiah, Jesus, was foretold by the prophets. Isaiah 9, 6, thereabouts. You see where Isaiah was, was by the leading and the, by the impartation of the Holy Ghost, where he revealed that Jesus was going to come. Through divine revelation, uh, Abraham was programmed to be the projector of the lineage of, of the Messiah, Christ Jesus. So for your next level, for you to move to the place where God is going to meet you, you need to be divinely guided through revelations from the Lord. Now, I'm praying that even though some might not be online today, that this particular, uh, this particular sermon will be useful for all those of you who come day and night asking me for some of the most mundane things. Look, let me make you laugh. <clears throat> there are people who come online to ask me if it's okay for them to, to have relations with their spouse. They ask me if it's timely. Goodness me. That is incredible. Why would I want to know what time you should have relations with your spouse? <clears throat> That's the kind of thing that is nobody's business. It's not my business, even though I might be a servant of God. It's not my business. People ask me the most mundane things. And and when I when they do ask me those things, you discover that I'm not very... You, you cannot get much out of me. I, I, I'm generally fruitless to you. Because I believe that if you are a child of God, you need to be able to move. I tell people so many things. <clears throat> if you want to know God's divine will, the quickest way to know it is to always walk in the move of God. You should always walk in God's move. Make sure you study the word every day. Make sure there are days you set aside and decide for the next 12 hours, I'm not going to be eating, I'll just be praying. Make sure there are days when you pray. Make sure there are days if you are somebody who has the indwelling of the Holy Ghost, that you go speaking in spirits. Once you are living a spirit-filled life and a God-given life, there's, it's almost impossible for you to make a mistake, I tell you. Because the Bible says the Spirit of God bears witness with our spirits that we're sons of God. So it's all virtually impossible for you to have, an, to have an issue that you cannot meet when you are a child of God. And then <clears throat> Jeremiah 33 verse 3, it says, Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. I've given you about six different verses of the bible now five i'm not sure that tell you the things that will lead you for god to reveal secrets these are his promises concerning revealing secrets to us for your next level you need to be divinely guided through revelations from our god and like i'm saying now god reveals his secrets to those who thirst for them those who want who want god to release this the, the, his secrets in any situation look i learned something in, a uh, while back the spirit of God is constantly talking constantly just go and read revelations you see that the spirit of prophecy is constantly talking there are people in heaven there are creatures in heaven whose business is to speak the mind of God continuously at any time that is their job so God is constantly speaking it's just like a constant radio a constant radio program. God is constantly speaking in every situation, in every circumstance. But it is left for you and I to become radios with antennas, spiritual radios with antennas, who can tune to God's wavelength. And once you tune to it, you can hear anything from God. I thank God by developing yourself, you can get to a place where you can hear the mind of God at any time. I thank God that, that that's one of the gift things that I have been able, I've not perfected it for, far from it, but I've been able to harness it to a high level. That is why it's almost impossible 
for me not to know what God's will is at a certain time. At this stage in my uh, spiritual development, I have got there. And I want you to thirst for the secrets of God. That's what I'm saying. If you cry passionately to our God, it always attracts his attention, you know. And like I said, because he's always talking, in his response, he unfolds his secrets so that you and I can be guided on the right tracks to his glory. And God is glorious. Can any of us behold his face? If you behold the face of God, you must be somebody who has transitioned already. You already translated into eternity. It's not possible. Even the greatest men of, uh, of, of God in the Bible, they could not behold. John could not behold in Revelations. How about uh, Moses? He couldn't. It was, his, it was the back of God that he behaved. He said, you will see my hindsight. You can't see my face. And it was only the hindsight of God that Moses saw when he went back down from the mountain to the Israelites. <laughs> the glory that was on him, people were falling, falling flat. That is how incredible his glory is. But you can, you, can, you can track the glory that will bring you into a great place with the Lord by thirsting for it. Now, when God reveals his secrets, there are certain things that will happen. Certain things will happen. You will access the spirit realm. You'll be somebody who can move in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. One day we were preaching and I told people there were three angels at the, at the door of the church in um, 434 Millbank that we, where we preach on Thursdays. I told them, I said there are three angels. There was a certain sister that the Lord was using us to minister deliverance to right in the middle of the service. She had some issues that day. And we asked one of the angels to come immediately and deal with her. And this sister saw the angel. She saw the angel. People didn't see the angel. The sister saw the angel. And you could tell with her reaction, the reaction of the spirit in her, when I asked the angel to, to deal with the spirit that was worrying her. So when God reveals secrets, there are certain things you know you can't... You, angels are scary human beings. Not because they're evil. They're very, very wonderful evil uh, beings. They're God's uh, messengers. But it's, it's scary when you see them. They're big, tall, usually. Much bigger than the average human being. But that is God. So when God reveals the secrets, you can access the spirit realm. You will see deep things, deep-rooted things. <laughs> a friend of mine, in fact, the, the, the one who's uh, someone I'm basing tonight, someone on, told me a whole year before Michael Jackson died, he says, you know, I just went to spend a few days with God. He says, I saw something that did not make me happy. I said, what? He said, Michael Jackson will be dead in about a year. I said, why? He said, that's just God, what God revealed to him. Exactly a year, almost to the day, like he told me, Michael Jackson was gone. So God reveals deep things to you. And you know, unfortunately, I don't think we took it seriously because we could have interceded for the man. But I don't know, I guess we were just seeing. So sometimes even prophets need to be encouraged on. When God reveals secrets, you would have passed any examination, either a real examination, maybe you're going to uh, pass an exam to move, to get a certificate or something, or your spiritual examinations, you would have passed it before sitting for it. God will reveal to you when poverty is coming so that you can pray and fast. God will reveal to you if death is coming so that you can pray and ward it off. God will reveal to you if sickness is coming so that you can pray and ward it off. You will also overcome fear when God reveals his secrets. You will be confident when God reveals his secrets. You will not guess, you will not fumble at situations and things when God reveals his secrets. You will not see what others don't see. <laughs> or rather, you will see, I'm sorry, you will see what others don't see. You will see them and they'll be wondering. I remember back in, um, was it 2000 or 1999? I can't remember. I was uh, just a minister in one parish of this great church, the Redeemed Christian Church. And God was revealing so many things to me that my pastor at that time could not see. And I, in a short while, I had to leave the ministry because everything God was revealing to me was exactly the exact, was the opposite of what that man of God, he, he, he could not see anything. And it was important. It didn't take long before God said, leave this parish of uh, Redeemed Christian Church of God back then. 
I said, God, he said, leave it. Go, go, go. go. I'm gonna, I want to teach you a few things. Because the fellow I was under could no longer see. When you're under somebody who cannot see, it's impossible to stay under that person. When you're under somebody who doesn't have a vision or who cannot see the vision God is, is and you are seeing it, it's not because you're arrogant. It's because you've developed yourself to that level. Look, I'm not saying you should go and leave your churches today. <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. All I'm just saying is that that kind of thing is a sign. When you, God reveals his secrets, you will know the mind of God for your life your, and um, your, your, your environment in every area, in every area of your life. You will know God's mind and then you can move forward. When you know God's secrets, the divine, the divine agenda will be clear to you. And when you know it, you will not be under any pressure. People will be telling you, look at this. People have told me, how can you come to America? People come to America to collect degrees and do well. Look at those who are driving the biggest cars around. How can you be doing this and that? And I'll be smiling. If God sends you to do his work and you know and he reveals to you what he wants to do, you won't be going to look for something else that, that, is, not, uh, that is not God's plan. When he reveals his secrets, you will know how to navigate in difficult terrain, brethren. When the Lord reveals his secrets, you will be a purposeful leader. Somebody who sees automatically becomes a leader. Oh, I tell you, you automatically become a leader. When God reveals his secrets, the kingdom of darkness will fear you because they know you know their tricks and their wiles. When he reveals it, you will not fall into mistakes and errors. You won't fall into traps and snares, brethren. Inside hidden plans among your workers or family members, business partners, the plans they have, you will know. You will know. That is how incredible it is to, to be in a place where you can know God's secrets. Many of you are asking yourselves, well, how can I get this? We are going to get that. Don't worry. I will pray some prayers. When you know God's spirits, you will know who you are. This, this Tonight's uh, someone might go about 15 minutes more, if you allow me this morning, because I want to expound on this. Like I said, if we reveal these things and we record them and, and we put them inside books and videos and podcasts, there's no reason for you to come to the man of God every minute. I'm not a man of God who wants to withhold knowledge from you so that I can be Lord over you. And I'll, and I'll tell you until you give me this or you do that for me, uh, I can't tell you the situation. No, that's not the kind of person God raised me to be. God says we should go and disseminate information. Remember the, the, the call in uh, Matthew 28, 18, I think. He says we should go into the, he says we should go, he says, and then Acts 1, 8. He says we should go and then we should go and tell about the kingdom. These are kingdom things. When you know the spirit of God, you will know why problems persist in any area. You will know. You, and you will know those behind the problems. You also know the solution to the problems. But it takes, it takes you being disciplined in certain ways. Prayers and fasting, I'll tell you what it takes. When you know the spirit of um, the secrets of God, your speed of achievement will be unusual. People will be wondering, how did you move so fast? Your progress and success will be envious. The reason is that you will be caught to the chase. That's literally you caught to the chase. The things that don't matter, you caught to the chase. People are saying, when I say we're looking for a, 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 a relatively big place to use for the ministry, you know. A big complex to use where we can have revivals, teachings, miracles two or three times a week. I told people we're not really focused on a Sunday service, although there yeah, we have Sunday services, but that's not the real, the real focus is to revive the people and to teach them. I said we need a big place. People are like, why don't you go and start very small? Look for a place that has 50 seats or 100 seats. I said, no. <laughs> Your speed of achievement must be unusual because you know things others don't know. Your progress and your success must be envious. It will be. Oh, people will envy you because they'll be wondering how you got there. And you have a divine alert before anything happens. If anything wants to happen, you will have a divine alert. God will tell you and you will go and quickly do something to, to ward it off. When you have that, you will know the correct strategy for any particular battle. You are you know the appropriate weapon to use and where to stay. When you do have, uh, when God reveals the secrets to you, you will be at the right place at the right time, and your enemies will find it difficult to catch you. And that's things that you will be able to see your spiritual 
scorecard at any time. You'll be able to know if you are doing well spiritually or you are falling back and you know what to do to compensate. When God reveals his secrets during any storm of life, you will remain calm. You will be in God's rest. Even though everything around you is shaking, everything around you, there's a tempest and everything, you will remain calm because you know the end. You know where it's going. God has shown you. When you know God's secrets, you'll not be controlled by other people's visions and their revelations. If your vision and their revelations, if it dovetails, <clears throat> you'll be able to walk in agreement and consonance with such people. If when God reveals the secrets, you 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 will not make wrong, you don't make wrong choices in things like marriage, where you should be located, where you should be working, where you should be worshiping, who should be your friends. You will not make the wrong choices. You will not. I know so many. I know so many uh, people who see a particular kind of lady or a particular kind of man. And just the physical is what they see. And they believe that is it. But many, two, three, four years down the line, have married their greatest enemies. Or they have married somebody who will die young. Or they will marry somebody who, who will bring calamity upon them. Because they didn't ask God. They don't know the secret. When you know the secret, you will not go into wrong investments of your time. You will not go into wrong partnerships. You will not take wrong decisions when it matters most. You will not travel when you are not supposed to. Oh my, there's a story of that, my sister. In December, who went, who went home? And, and God revealed to her that she should not travel in a certain way or she should travel in some other way because her enemies were planning to kill her. And God revealed to us. I thank God that we, were, we could hear the voice of God at that time. That's why she's alive today. She doesn't know, but I thank God. It's it's a scary thing when she thinks of it. I don't know if she's online right now, but you know for certain you are not travel where you are. You do not travel where you are not supposed to. When God reveals secrets to you, you not go to where the presence of God is absent. <clears throat> there are days I go into a church. I've been in a church before, and within five minutes, I tell my wife, I say, "Honey, let's leave this place." She's like, "Why?" This, the 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 their worship is so good. I said, God doesn't reside here. You can hear the nicest worship in the world. <laughs> and the worship leader and the chief uh, instrumentalist, they are not married and they go to bed together. Maybe they even left the same bed that day and they come and they are not married people and they come to the they come to the pulpit to worship. And you will go there. If you, you, it's Ichabod. God's glory has departed from that pulpit. And you are there. But you will know the secret and you get out of there. When you know the secret, the danger inside what ordinarily looks good will be revealed to you. That's what I'm saying. You will not accept gifts that will endanger your life. Oh, there are many gifts that have destroyed the lives of people. And you will not suffer losses generally. You know, you will make discoveries beyond human knowledge. I know somebody, a friend, who says that he has he says he has the um the secret to HIV. And I believe him. I believe him. When time comes, he will make a lot of money out of that. I believe so. When, when God reveals secrets to you, discover the breakthrough you are sitting on that was unknown to you. You won't copy others. Because what they are doing is God's vision for them. But you won't copy them. When you have God's secrets, an end will come to every prolonged delay in your life. Somebody say amen there. Where problems are repeating and recurring, it will be revealed to you with solutions. You will be hopeful, you will be assured of tomorrow, brethren. It's, it's, it's incredible to know the mind of God. These are the things that can happen. When, you, when God's secrets are revealed to you, you will hit the target each time you embark on any venture. Your enemy's secrets and plans will be known to you. So you know how to either sidestep the enemy's plans or go in knowing how to deal with the enemy. Hallelujah. Now, what are the channels through which God reveals his secrets? How does God reveal the secrets? What are the instruments? The first thing is the word of God. Hebrew 5, 13 and 14. The word of God. The word of God, brethren. I said this is one of the most powerful sermons you can have. I, 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 when this sermon was revealed to me many years ago through this, my mentor, he says, go and read this. I was, I was, my life was changed. And that is why today I'm sharing it with you. 
the word of God, Hebrews 5, 13, 14, is an avenue channel. Dreams, like I read just now, Job 33, uh, 14 to 16. You also saw the case of Joseph. Visions, visions, Acts 10, 9 to 22. Let me repeat them. The word of God, Hebrews 5, 13, 14. Through dreams, Genesis 31, 11 to 13. And Job 33, 14 to 16. You can go and check these uh, verses later. Through the vision, vision, seeing. Acts 10, 9 to 22. There's a prayer I always ask those who are close to me to, to pray. I always say, ask God to open your spiritual eyes so that you can see visions like, like a video. You can see things are happening like a video. That has been happening to me for many years. Where I'll see things as if it's a video. Just like a, a quick trance. You just see things. And you'll see the situation. No matter how, what it's looking like physically, God will show you the true situation in that person's life or something. I was telling somebody, we went to a place uh, yesterday evening. And God was telling me about one or two people there that they are not exactly what they look like. They look like very nice, pious Christians, but that they are vicious spirits, these people. Oh, well. Another channel is counselors. To the multitude of counselors, counselors, men of God, women of God, prophets of God, counselors, Proverbs 12, 15. True circumstances. God Reveals his secrets through circumstances. Genesis 45, verse 8. Genesis 45, verse 8. I'm sorry I'm moving fast. I want us to be able to cover everything. Maybe if we don't, maybe we'll finish it tomorrow, but I'll try to cover. It's a very important sermon. The next one is through miracles. God can reveal his secrets to you <clears throat> through miracles. 1 Kings 18, 36 to 39. Praise the Lord. God reveals his secrets through angels. Angels. We've seen so many times in the Bible where angels will appear and tell people. I mean, look at when Jesus was to be born. An angel appeared to the Father. Through angels. Acts 10, 9 to 22. God reveals his secrets through the still, small voice of the Holy Spirit. That has happened to me so many times. You can see that in Romans 8, 14. Where you just hear a quiet voice speaking to you and saying, this is what I want to do concerning that situation. Or do not go there. Or do not do this. The still, small voice of the Holy Spirit. Many people don't hear that in their lifetime. But if you hear it, you're a blessed person. I hear, the, I hear the still, small voice now and then. Praise the Lord. Another one is through the gifts of prophecy. Through the gift of prophecy. There's that which is called the gift of prophecy. I mean, we've used it so many times on this line. That's, it's incredible. God helps us, and I'm praying that he'll help you. And like I said earlier, I'll teach you. How can you receive the secrets of God? There are five ways that one receives it. Five ways where you can receive it. If you practice them in a while, you'll be a prophet. People will be calling you prophet. <laughs> And the gift of prophecy is something you can ask God for. He says we can covet the spiritual gifts. So there's nothing that did, that stops you from becoming greater than even a prophet or care or those who are greater than him. Hallelujah. How can you receive God's secrets? You live a consecrated life, a life that is set apart. You just decide of your own that you won't have too many friends. You don't go to too many places. You know, my, my wife many times says, oh, there's this, somebody's doing something. Good wife. Please don't. I'm always saying my wife, my wife. That's because he's my closest friend. Apart from Jesus, of course. She'll say, oh, these people are doing this thing. We should go. I said, we're not going anywhere. He said, but, but, I said, no, we're not going anywhere. I said, well, I said, it's not everywhere they see you when you're a minister of God. Some places you just don't go. You need to live a consecrated life where you can study the things about God. Isaiah 30, 21 shows you that. Proverbs 20, 24 says it also. We need to live a life set apart, focused on God, a consecrated, a life that is set on God. Hallelujah. The next thing you need to do is to study and meditate. Study and meditate on God's word. You need to study, meditate on God's word. 2 Timothy 2.15, you all know that. Study, show yourself approved. 2 Timothy 2.15, Joshua 1.8, he tells us, 
It says, This book of the law shall not depart, you shall maintain it therein, and thereby you shall have good success. Then you associate with the wise, those who are wise in spiritual things. Associate with them. I'm not saying I'm the wisest man on the earth, but if you come on this prayer line consistently for one year, if your life has not changed spiritually, then something is wrong. Even those of us who have been on in the last three, six months have learned a lot. You come in the Friday in and Friday out. There's no way you you must have learned a lot more. You associate with the wise. And I am learning more also by associating with the wise. I told you that this particular sermon was first preached by one of my mentors. You associate with the wise. And when you associate with the wise, certain things will happen to you. You begin to understand the, the deep things of God. When I was in my country, I would go on mountaintops where there would be 70, 80-year-old prophets there. Go there, give them a gift. Baba, I have come. My son, my son, oh, you always remember me for good things. Good. How long are you staying? Oh, three or four days are good. You and I have to talk. They sit you down. They teach you the little the things you need to know. And when you know those things you need to know, then your life changes. Hallelujah. You associate with the wise. You embark on retreats. You embark on retreats. It's something you need to do to spend a few days apart. I know um, the American and the, the the Western system is so tough for you to get away. Many of you have jobs that you can't run away from and so on and so forth. But it's important for us to spend even if you can go three days and go and stay in a hotel room somewhere. Or maybe when your family is traveling, it leaves you alone in the house. And back on a retreat and ask God certain things just in prayer, worshiping, studying the word. Some things, things will be dropped in your spirit. The last thing is that you will, through prayer and fasting, I said you might not be able to finish because you have so many prayers to pray, but I pray that God will help us through prayer and fasting. Let me leave, list them for you. Live a consecrated life, Isaiah 30, 21, Proverbs 20, 24. Study and meditate on God's word. Second Timothy 2, 15, Joshua 1, 8. Associate with the wise, the spiritually wise especially. Proverbs 13, 20. Embark on retreats. Isaiah 40, 31. Isaiah 40, 31. Embark on prayer and fasting. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. I told you, call on me, show you great and mighty things. And Isaiah 58, from verse 1 to the end. My prayer is that the Lord will open your eyes to see the secrets of God and the plan of your enemies in Jesus' name. My prayer is that you will no longer operate in darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be somebody who operates in darkness in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where you are right now, I want you to begin to thank God. We're going to pray. We have so many prayers to pray. I don't know if we can finish them tonight. Hallelujah. Like 26 prayers to pray. But we'll keep on praying. If it gets too long, then we will stop. Praise the Lord. So where you are right now, just begin to thank Daddy for what he's going to do. The way he's going to open up your eyes tonight. Go ahead and just thank him. He's an awesome God. Look, I, I, I love God. I'm so happy. With, you know, I'm just happy to be in God's presence. I don't know about you. It's such a happy thing, you know, not to have to worry and, and rely on, on human beings. It's, it's, it's a nice thing to be able to rely on God, you know. So go ahead right now and just thank him. Thank him. Thank the master. Thank the master. He's a wonderful God. He's omnipotent. He's everlasting. Just go ahead and thank him. Just bless his holy name. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless his name of the Lord. This might be the, this might be the most important someone you ever heard on this prayer line. Just go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. We honor you. We lift you up. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to pray this prayer. I want to say, I plead the blood of Jesus upon my eyes, my ears, and my mind in the name of Jesus. You see, when you plead the blood of Jesus, that means your eyes and your ears and your mind, they receive a special unction of the Holy Ghost. They receive a special unction of the Holy Ghost. So where you are right now, plead the blood of Jesus upon your eyes, your ears, and your mind in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and plead right now.
Go ahead and plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my eyes, my ears, and my mind in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and plead right now. Plead that precious blood right now. Plead the precious blood right now. Plead the precious blood right now. Plead that precious blood of Jesus now. Plead the precious blood of a lamb right now. Plead the precious blood of Jesus. Plead the precious blood. Plead the precious blood. Plead the precious blood. Plead the precious blood. Plead that precious blood right now. Plead the precious blood right now. Plead the precious blood right now. Plead the precious blood. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I'm going to say spiritual glaucoma and cataracts in my spiritual eyes be removed in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray right now. Spiritual glaucoma and cataracts in my spiritual eyes be removed in the name of Jesus. Be removed in the name of Jesus. Be removed in the name of Jesus. Spiritual glaucoma and cataracts in my spiritual eyes be removed in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Next prayer point. I'm going to say spiritual darkness and cloudness in my spiritual eyes be removed in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray, brethren. Spiritual darkness and cloudiness in my spiritual eyes be removed in the name of Jesus. 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 Be removed in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We're going to say any dark material blocking my spiritual eyes and mind be removed this morning in the name of jesus any dark material blocking my spiritual ears and mind be removed in the name of jesus be removed in the name of jesus be removed in the name of jesus any dark material blocking my spiritual ears and mind be removed in the name of jesus be removed in the name of jesus be removed in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen amen Praise the Lord. I want you to pray another prayer like this. I'm going to say, any dark interference affecting my receiving from God be removed in the name of Jesus. I'm praying it. Go ahead and pray also. Any dark interference affecting my receiving from God be removed in the name of Jesus. You, that sister, you've been crying out that you don't see dreams, you don't remember things. Go ahead and pray very well. Any dark interference affecting my receiving from God be removed in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. This prayer is for those of you who don't, whose dreams you can't, you can't remember your dreams. Your dreams are clouded. They're going to say, light of God, light of God, illuminate my spiritual eyes in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Light of God, illuminate my spiritual eyes in the name of Jesus. Light of God, illuminate my spiritual eyes in the name of Jesus. You light of God, illuminate my spiritual eyes. Illuminate my spiritual eyes. Illuminate my spiritual eyes. Light of God, illuminate my spiritual eyes. In the name of Jesus, illuminate my spiritual eyes. In the name of Jesus, light of God, illuminate my spiritual eyes. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I'm going to say, Father, turn my eyes. Turn my eyes, O oh Lord. Turn them into a Blu-ray player. Hallelujah. Turn my eyes into a Blu-ray player so that I can see clarity in high definition. I want to be able to see videos. I want to be able to see trances that will tell me things. Oh Lord, turn my eyes to that of like a Blu-ray player so that I can see, I can see trances and visions that will reveal secrets to me, deep secrets. Go ahead and pray right now in the name of Jesus. Turn my eyes, oh Lord. Let me be able to see visions. Let me be able to see videos of the things that are happening around me, of the things that affect my life. Let me be able to see videos, oh Lord. Oh, I want you to pray these prayers very well. Lord, let me be able to see videos in the name of Jesus. Let me be able to see things, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let me be able to see things, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Next prayer point. You're going to say, O voice of the Lord. O voice of the Lord. That is that, that radio I said works continuously. The spiritual radio of the Lord. O voice of the Lord. You spiritual radio of the Lord. 
Connect with my spiritual ears in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray right now. Oh, you voice of the Lord, you radio of the Lord, connect with my spiritual ears in the name of Jesus. Connect with my spiritual ears in the name of Jesus. Connect with my spiritual ears in the name of Jesus. You voice of the Lord, you radio of the Lord, connect with my spiritual ears in the name of Jesus. Connect with my spiritual ears in the name of Jesus. Connect with my spiritual ears in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Just before we continue, God just told me something right now. You see, the thing about God, we have four levels of development in our ministry. In fact, five. The fifth one is ministerial. is for ministerial development. And God is telling me right now that we should set it up online. We should set it up online, but you are going to pay for it, brethren. It's not, it's not going to be free. Because what does not cost people something, they don't take it seriously. That's the truth. I've discovered that. When things don't cost people, I've heard so many people, instead of them coming on the prayer line, they say, oh, don't worry, Pastor, I'll, I'll watch the video later. It's a video to them. <laughs> it doesn't cost anything. But if you put some money onto it, not because you really want to make money, but because you put some value that it must cost people, they take it seriously. The Lord is telling me as I'm sitting down here right now that we should start that school. So I'm going to do online school. Hallelujah. So we'll look for a way to start it right now. And we'll look for some accreditation. Praise the Lord. The next thing, next prayer point, I'm going to say spirit of discernment manifest in me like never before in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Spirit of discernment manifest in me like never before in the name of Jesus. You need it, brethren. You, look, let me tell you why. Because that your friend that you borrow shoes from, that you, you like her shoe, you like her nail polish, you like the, the eyelashes she uses, you want to wear her wig, that person might be a, 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 an agent of darkness. Somebody who has been programmed to come into your life because the enemy has seen what you will become. And they say, go and destroy that one. There are people who are sent on assignments like that. You need to be able to discern from all the beautiful smiles that... And, and the faces. You need to be able to discern spiritual backstabbers. Let's pray. Spirit of discernment manifest in me like never before. Begin to manifest in me with power. Spirit of discernment begin to manifest in me like never before in the name of Jesus. Begin to manifest in me like never before. Spirit of discernment manifest in me like never before in the name of Jesus. Manifest in me like never before. Spirit of discernment manifest, manifest, manifest in me like never before. In the name of Jesus, spirit of discernment manifest in me like never before. Spirit of discernment manifest in me like never before. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's past one o'clock. Like I said, give us a few more minutes, please. These are prayers I want you to pray so that you become spiritual giants. You're going to say spiritual blindness and deafness affecting me disappear by the blood of Jesus. I wipe you away. I wipe you clean with the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Spiritual blindness and deafness affecting me disappear in the name of Jesus. I said it's barely for those of you who don't remember your dreams, who cannot remember anything God tells you. You better right now pray these prayers very well. Spiritual blindness and deafness affecting me disappear in the name of Jesus. Be cleansed off by the blood of Jesus. Be cleansed off by the blood of Jesus. Be cleansed off by the blood of Jesus, 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 be cleansed off by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Next prayer point. I'm going to say, I reject confusing revelations now in the name of Jesus. Henceforth, I reject confusing revelations in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. I reject confusing re revelations henceforth. In every area of my life, I reject confusing revelations in the name of Jesus. I reject confusing revelations in the name of Jesus. I reject confusing revelations in the name of Jesus. I reject confusing revelations in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Next prayer point. I'm going to say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, reveal deep and secret things to me about my situation whatever your situation is tell god maybe it's that marriage that is worrying you right now maybe you are married maybe you are not married holy spirit reveal deep and secret things to me all you singles that are online that you keep calling me with one question or another this is your opportunity now pray these prayers very well god will reveal to you so that i will spend less time 
trying to find out each individual case. If you do it yourself, look, this is a do-it-yourself ministry. Hallelujah. If you can do things yourself, you will move forward. You don't have to jettison me. I love you. And yes, you probably still need guidance. But I want you to be able to pray and things will be revealed to you yourself. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, reveal deep and secret things to me about you mentioned the case in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray right now. Holy Spirit, reveal deep and secret things to me about my finances, about my marriage, about my children, about my life about my health, reveal deep and secret things to me. Oh, go ahead and pray right now. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, reveal deep and secret things to me about my ministry, about my calling, about my job, about my business. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, reveal deep and secret things to me, things I do not know, and show me the solutions, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, go ahead, go ahead and pray right now. Lord, reveal deep and secret things to me. Where the problem is coming from. What the problem is. How I'm going to solve it. Oh Lord, reveal to me. Go ahead and pray. Oh Lord, reveal it to me. Reveal 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 to me, oh Lord. Reveal to me, Father. Reveal to me, Jehovah. Reveal to me, oh Lord. Reveal to me, Father. Reveal to me, oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Next prayer point. Oh Lord, make your way plain before me. On you can mention the issue. Make your way plain before me on this issue, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and mention whatever issue you know you need to know now. Make your way plain, oh Lord. Let me see exactly your plan concerning this situation. In the name of Jesus. Not my plan, but yours, oh Lord. Tell him right now. Lord, make your way plain before me on this issue in the name of jesus mention it right now i always like to tell god about my children and my ministry go ahead lord make your way plain before me on the issue of my children on the issue of my ministry in the name of jesus on the issue of my finances on the issue of moving forward oh lord in my ministry on the issue of picking of of, of purchasing the, 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 the complex that we'll use to minister to the thousands that are coming, Lord. Make your way plain. Go ahead and pray. I'm praying mine. You better pray yours. Lord, make your way plain before me, O Lord, on this issue, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, make your way plain, O Lord, concerning my place of location, where you want me to be, O Lord. Go ahead and pray right now. In the name of Jesus, the perfect place that will benefit you in my life, O Lord. Make that place known to me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray right now. Ask the Lord to reveal to you. Reveal to you. Lord, reveal it to me. Lord, reveal it to me. Reveal to me. Where you want me to be to excel, O Lord. Reveal to me, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. That sister, pray this prayer again. Let's pray this, that prayer again <clears throat> for marriage. You're going to say, Lord, where should I be located for my husband to find me? I want all those single sisters to pray that prayer right now. Single brothers, pray the prayer too. Lord, where should I be located for my spouse to find me? Go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus. Ask God for the time, the place. Go ahead and pray right now. In the name of Jesus, the circumstances. Go ahead and pray. Where should I be located right now? Where should I be located, oh Lord, for my spouse to find me, to seek me out? Where should I be located, oh Lord, for that job to find me out? In the name of Jesus, where should I be located, oh Lord, for that business, that financial breakthrough to find me out? Where should I be located? Go ahead and pray right now. Ask God. It's a deep thing. He will tell you, where should I be located, oh Lord? Where should I be located, Father? Where should I be located, oh Lord? Where should I be located, Father? In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Is this not awesome? God is wonderful. Hallelujah. Next prayer point, I'm going to say, every dirtiness blocking my communication channels with the Holy Spirit, this morning be removed by the blood of Jesus. Every dirtiness blocking my communication channels with the Holy Spirit, this morning be removed by the blood of Jesus. This morning be removed by the blood of Jesus. Every dirtiness Blocking my communication channels with the Holy Spirit. Be removed by the blood of Jesus in Jesus' name. Be removed by the blood of Jesus in Jesus' name. Every dirtiness blocking my communication channels with the Holy Spirit. Be removed by the blood of Jesus. Be removed by the blood of Jesus. Be removed by the blood of Jesus. Be removed by the blood of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Pray these prayers. Say every secret about myself. 
about my environment, about my family, be revealed in Jesus' name. Go ahead and pray. Every secret about myself, my environment, my family, be removed, be revealed in the name of Jesus. Every secret about myself, my environment, my family, be revealed in the name of Jesus. Be revealed in the name of Jesus. Be revealed in the name of Jesus. Every secret about myself, my environment, my family, be revealed. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord is telling me there will be so many testimonies concerning this sermon of tonight. Oh, brethren, do not be shy to come and testify as to what God revealed to you online or send an email. Oh, please, I've not been receiving too many emails recently. Are you guys tired of me or what? I want to know. Hallelujah. <laughs> I want people to send emails. Let us see so that the fellowship will be, will, will be greater. Hallelujah. Every secret about myself, my environment, my family, be revealed in the name of Jesus. Be revealed in the name of Jesus. Be revealed in the name of Jesus. Be revealed in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's pray this next four prayers together. Every secret about myself, my spiritual life, my work, my workplace, my family, father's lineage, my mother's lineage be revealed. I want to pray this particular set of prayers aggressively. Pray them, bob your head, shake your head, scream if you can. Go ahead and pray right now. Every secret about my work, my workplace, my spiritual life, my father's lineage, my mother's lineage, be revealed in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray right now. In the name of Jesus, every secret about my work, my workplace, my spiritual life, my father's lineage, my mother's lineage, be revealed in the name of Jesus. Be revealed in the name of Jesus. Be revealed in the name of Jesus. Every secret about my work, my workplace, be revealed in the name of Jesus. 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 Be revealed. Secrets about my work, my workplace, my spiritual life, my father's lineage, my mother's lineage. Be revealed in the name of Jesus. Be revealed tonight. Be revealed tonight. Be revealed tonight. Be revealed this morning as I go to bed now. Be revealed now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want you to pray every secret that will turn me into a spiritual giant, oh Lord. Reveal it to me. I want you to pray that prayer right now. Every secret that will turn me into a spiritual giant. Oh Lord, reveal it to me now. Reveal it to me now. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Every secret that will turn me into a spiritual giant. Be revealed to me. Be revealed to me now. In the name of Jesus. Be revealed it to me now. Be revealed to me now. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The next prayer point. They're going to pray. They're going to say every secret concerning the person i'm thinking about for marriage this is for those who need to marry but pray the prayer if you have a family member that wants to get married they're going to say father every secret concerning elizabeth concerning anne concerning david and the person they want to marry oh lord reveal it now reveal it to them or reveal it to me go ahead and pray in the name of jesus every secret concerning my marriage oh lord the marriage of my children <coughs> Who they want to marry, Lord, reveal it to me now. <clears throat> reveal it to me now in the name of Jesus. Reveal it to me now in the name of Jesus. Reveal it to me. Reveal it to them. Open their eyes so that they will not make a mistake of the wrong person. Every secret concerning that person I want to marry, Lord, reveal it to me now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I always tell people when you're praying a prayer and you need to drink a cup of water, that means the prayer is going very well. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Don't laugh, you that sister. Go away. Praise the Lord. The next prayer point, every secret concerning my in-laws family, concerning the step I want to take, concerning my place of birth and my town, Lord, reveal it to me. Pray those three prayers together. Every secret concerning my in-laws, concerning the steps I want to take in my life, Concerning my place of birth and my village, my town, oh Lord, reveal it, reveal it, reveal it, reveal it. Go ahead and pray and ask God. He will reveal. He said, call on me, I will show you deep things, great and mighty things which you don't know. The depths, he will take you to the depths and show you. Father, Lord, secrets concerning my in-laws that I do not know, reveal it, reveal it in the name of Jesus. The secrets concerning steps I want to take, oh Lord, reveal what is behind them, what will come of them in the name of Jesus. Reveal it, Master. Reveal it, Lord. Reveal it, Lord. You are the revealer of all secrets. You reveal to Daniel what must be, oh Lord, concerning King Nebuchadnezzar. Lord, reveal to me, oh Lord. Reveal to me, Father. Reveal to me, Lord. Open my spiritual eyes and ears, oh Lord. 
Open my spiritual mind, oh Lord. Reveal to me concerning my in-laws, concerning steps I want to take, concerning my place of birth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Say, Heavenly Father, reveal the secrets of the people that surround me day and night. Those who wake up and sleep with me. Reveal the secrets. Oh, look, by the time you finish this, certain things will happen. I said there are days when somebody stands in front of me, God will download the person to me. I was talking to one of our uh, sisters here in the Thursday program. There was somebody who was very insultive. To, and she reminded me that the first day we met that person, I actually made a statement about that person. He says, Pastor, exactly what you said about that sister is what has come to pass. I said, yes. Because if you ask God to reveal the secrets of those that surround you, when you meet somebody, God will download that person's data. Hallelujah. He will download it to you spiritually. This is this person in front of you. Sometimes you see a thief. They will write thief in front of the person's face. You just see it like a flash. This is a thief. <laughs> Sometimes you see this is a liar. Sometimes God will tell you, this is my daughter. Hallelujah. There's not like being called a daughter or a son of God. See, my son. My son, if God says my son to you, or he says my daughter to you, and he reveals that little thing to you, that is one of the most glorious things that can happen to your life. For God to say you are my son or you are my daughter. Hallelujah. We've almost finished three more prayer points. Every secret concerning the people surrounding me and concerning my future. Oh Lord, reveal, 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 reveal to me. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray right now. Every secret concerning the people surrounding me and my future. Lord, reveal to me. Lord, reveal to me. Lord, reveal to me. In the name of Jesus, reveal to me. In the name of Jesus, reveal to me, Lord. Secrets concerning the people surrounding me. Secrets concerning my future. The future of my ministry. Secrets concerning the future of my marriage. The future of my children. The future of my finances. Secrets concerning my life. Look, God can tell you the day you are going to pass on. So that you will prepare ahead. Not only prepare ahead, but if it's too close, then you ward it off with prayer. Just like Ezekiah did. Lord, show me the secrets concerning the people surrounding me, concerning my future, in the name of Jesus. Show me the secrets, O oh Lord. Have mercy on me. Show me the secrets, O oh Lord. Have mercy on me. Show me the secrets, O oh Lord, of my future. And those who surround me, those who wake up and sleep with me, show me the secrets, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Show me the secrets that will benefit me, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Show me those secrets, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to pray this last prayer. This might be the prayer that many of you will use to escape. Hallelujah. Escape out of the cage. Hallelujah. You're going to say, all witchcraft, occultic, all witchcraft, occultic, and marine secrets that I must know, let them be revealed unto me as I go to bed tonight in the name of Jesus. All witchcraft, occultic, and marine secrets that I must know be revealed unto me in the name of Jesus. Be revealed unto me in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. All witchcraft, occultic, and marine secrets that I must know be revealed unto me in the name of Jesus. Be revealed unto me in the name of Jesus. All witchcraft, occultic, marine secrets that I must know be revealed unto me, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Reveal it to me, Lord, so that I will know and show me the solutions to them. In the name of Jesus, reveal their secrets to me. Show me the solutions, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, reveal their secrets to me. Show me the solutions, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. We've really prayed tonight. Hallelujah. I want to congratulate you if you're able to pray along with us and finish those prayers. I congratulate you most heartily. I thank God for you. I thank God for your situation and that the fact that God is going to reveal things are going to move you forward and you will never look back again in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray for a sister who they buried the child uh, just uh, the Saturday morning. He was just 39. Her name is Sister Hillary and her family. I didn't meet them before those things befell them because we're not supposed to lose any of our family members. I believe so strongly in the power of prayer in what God can do. I want us to pray for that family. It's the family of Sister Hillary right now. That God will numb their pain and that our wonderful sister will not lose her children again 
in the name of Jesus. She will not know the burial place of any of her children again. Go ahead and pray right now. Lord, we pray for Sister Hillary in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, I decree right now by the blood of Jesus, oh Lord, that you will watch over them in the name of Jesus. That family will not have any loss again in the name of Jesus. And I pray for any family that has had any loss of any kind in the last one year. Father, we pray concerning those online right now who have had losses right now, that Lord, there will be no loss in that family again in the name of Jesus. I want you to bless pray for those of our family members who are sick. That sister said we should pray for her sister yesterday. I want us to pray, oh Lord, I even need you to pray for my father who had an accident uh, about four or five months ago. And, and right now he's been recovering in a hospital. I want you to go ahead and let's pray right now. Let's pray for them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for all our family members, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray.